Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Chicken Police Paint It Red, where we have just picked up our old party Marty, a party partner Marty, to join us on our latest case. So I believe now we just need to get out of here, I suppose. Um, what did we get there? A bit of info, I think, wasn't it, on Marty? Yeah, okay, about his wife. Uh, right, how do we leave this place? The store here. Still yeah, there we coffee. go. Yeah, my only poison, except for guns, of course, and women. <laughs> we can visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Marty seems a little bit reckless. Oh yeah, like last time. <laughs> Those were, uh, different times, Marty. With a different Sonny. Uh, well, alright. To the city, then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Alright, off we go. Uh, Sonny, there's a little problem. Oh. Not so little, and it smells too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? <laughs> furry hell. Ah, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? W what? Oh God, what's gonna go on here? <laughs> Just kidding, sort of. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to speak to him. The chief doesn't seem to be in a good mood, but he never is, actually. Yeah, well, let's see what, what he's got to say. Prize? The two pigeons back together. And without <laughs> my permission, of course. Yeah, obviously. Chief blood boil. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? Really? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, hey, hey! Stuff. Careful with the racist barking, old hound. <laughs> racist barking. Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. Tree. You're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? Important That's cases it, to solve. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick <laughs> feather coffee. pillow. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Yeah, it oh, sounds like it. Coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. <laughs> marrow bones. I love, I love the little sort of animal references. It's really have cool. A lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. So we unlocked a couple of more things to check out here. Um, where is he? Blood boil. Wilford Blood boil. Male. Chief is a real legend, he also hates me. He's my boss and the living statue of justice. He is tough, ruthless, and above all, unbribable. And of course he's a racist bastard, but still, I don't want to be here when he retires to witness how chaos devours Clawville for good. Sounds like a character, doesn't he? Jeez, uh, anything else to say, I Bosco? See you're swamped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. I hate his kind anyway. Well, because he's a, a lot of racism guy. Him. No, because he's a good-for-nothing piece of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And you? Are you letting off some steam? Something uh, like that. Yeah, we'll maybe. We'll go and check out some seedy joint. We're cops, after all, ain't we? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. 
Yeah, get a room, you two. Oh, shit, <laughs> All right, okay. Ooh, we can ask him something now about the hop dog. What have you heard about the hop dog? Is it still standing? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You shouldn't either. Things have escalated there recently. In what way? What do you know about Ibn Wessler? What's the old rat been up to lately? They say he's keeping a pretty low profile these days. But he's been seen in the company of the Attorney General. Mm. Attorney General Hamtaro, eh? Oh, that's interesting. Thanks. Why are you so interested in that rat? If you want another hole in your comb, I could help you too, you know. It's just <laughs> professional curiosity. Yeah, of course. And I'm a fluffy little Labrador. <laughs> whoa, 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 you forgot to mention this nugget about the case, Sonny. Ibn Clucking Wessler? What the hell did you get into? As far as I remember, Stuff. you didn't let me tell you in the first place. Well, you're in now. No way back. I mean, we didn't choose to, to be fair. Shit, Sonny, you hear me? What's this all about? Easy, chicken. I'll tell you everything soon enough. Let's just get the hell out of here first. If I already told you it's a pleasure working with you again. No, but <laughs> you that's should. always good to hear, partner. Exactly. Uh, cluck off. Cluck off. <laughs> right, I think there was one more thing we could ask. Yeah, Clawville PD. Why is it so quiet in here? Shouldn't it be a madhouse by now? The midnight madness is yet to come, Sonny. Just wait for it. My time's now we're too off. valuable for that, pal. And you're we're not hanging best. around. Rules of suspension, remember? I can see you're up to no good. Right, so we're suspended then. Who was? Ridiculous. <laughs> if you say so. But I advise you to keep it low. Especially you, Sonny. How many days do you have until retirement? 121. 120 soon. Still a fair old time. Don't be a it's like four months. Get yourself fired. Thanks for your eternal wisdom, Bosco. I'm definitely coming to you again <laughs> next time. I like Marty already. It's a good cat. Wait. Oh, no, no. We did ask everything. All right. Let's just try ch talking to Blood Boy one more time. No, nothing, sir. And you need something, Martin? Yeah, why is it? Sir, then get out of my sight, birds. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, right. Speaking with the chief first, and it would be nice to say goodbye to Monica too. Of course, right, okay. Um, got. I don't know what it was. We got something on here, but I guess we have to say goodbye to Monica. We're leaving, sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't end up like last time. I'm afraid time. you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, yeah. boys. Be careful out there. We're we big will. birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Mostly. But we're absolutely going to get caught up in something terrible, aren't we? Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Alright, so I think we can leave now. We can. Alright, so we've got two places we can go, I think. So we can go to the Tsar Club. Uh, yes, or we can... Oh, no, we've got a couple of places we can go to. So we can go to the Hotel Atlas. Or we can go to the Hop Dog. Uh, hmm. Should we go to the hop dog first? Let's go to the hop dog first. The hop dog was like the last warning. You can still turn back. My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs, plastic hamburgers, and watered down. That's one way of putting it. The cold light called me, but I didn't want to get out of the car. If we went in, we were all going to be pancakes, kept together by cold syrup. 
Marty's worried look shook me out of my reverie. Oh, Cluck. Was I talking to myself again? Seems like it. Right, uh, let's have a look then. Yes, yeah, so I think the game said that anything with an hourglass was like a timed thing, wasn't it? Like you could only visit it at that point and then it would disappear. So I guess we go to the the places like that first. Right, the city. Peaceful, isn't it? Because mm, the whole town's probably drunk by now. <laughs> Maybe that's the only way it can bear itself. Doesn't it remind you of someone? Shut up, hey. Marty. <laughs> you there, old bird. Okay. Uh, the God of Pancakes. Wow. Fresh breakfast and lunch. Are you sure that thing's a dog? I always wondered. The name Hop Dog is quite a giveaway. Don't you think so, Mr. Detective? <laughs> That's Sometimes true. Sometimes the most natural connections lead us astray. Who said that? A natural born genius? <laughs> yeah, right. God, I love the music and everything in this game. It's so good. The hive. There used What's the to hive? Be such life around here before it became an insect ghetto. Oh, <laughs> insects. That was a very long time ago, Marty. I was a little chick, and the hop dog had the best pancakes in the entire city. Well, since Zip became the owner, the cook, and the waitress, I imagine it's all gone downhill. <laughs> True. Ah, well, new personal info. Good. That's right. I have no idea what that mongrel's doing with it, and I don't want to know. But its aroma is unbeatable. Right, so we unlocked something. Uh, where was it? A new character. There, Zip. Raccoon. An old enemy who became a good friend over the years. Used to be a small time criminal, but the underworld pushed him out. Now he makes the best coffee in the whole city, in a rundown roadside rest area. Oh! And he also proved to be a rather useful police informant. Okay, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, we got this as well. The Hop Dog. This place is famous for its exceptional coffee and the exceptionally frequent whims that take place around it. Well, it's not an assurance of life, operating any joint outside of Roach Town. <laughs> right, okay, who's this fly guy? What's this? We don't serve bugs here. That is not nice. Look at the poor bastard. He's looking okay, Marty. Remember what we saw when we worked at the hive? Wild ones. Don't even remind me. I'm trying to forget that shit every day. It's been even worse since. I guess you heard about the riots. Who hasn't? You know, people are afraid that the Great Fire will happen again, and those hive houses are pretty flammable. I don't speak of the devil, Marty. But to be honest, I... I have no idea how this insect matter can be solved. I do. We just open the ghettos and let the insects live among us like they did for centuries. Your heart is pure gold, buddy. But you know it's not that easy. Clawville isn't what it used to be. Hmm. <laughs> Tough times. Hey, pal. Right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can you hear Fly me? Fly guy. Really? Is he I can't speak deaf? to him? I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't understand what I'm saying. Or he doesn't want to. That's also very likely. Yeah, that's possible, right? Ah, uh, poor bug eyes. At least he's playing music. I mean, he's doing something. Most of the destitute take up drinking or drugs. Or worse. Hmm. You know about the light. You mean the light the insects believe in? <laughs> the light. <laughs> yeah, their afterlife. Oh, if they God. weren't going to the light, they set themselves on fire. <laughs> I love yeah, it. I've heard that. Maybe it's not a bad way to go. That depends on your point of view. 
I love how clever this is. It's so well done. Uh, right, what's this say? Right, is there anything else down here as well? Right, we can go in. It's the old car. Did we look at the old car? I don't think we did. Don't serve of bugs all here. Furry. Is this still a thing? The situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how the young mothers of the cobbler district are forced to make a living? I have no idea what goes on in the hive, Sonny. I don't think I want to know. But you're still going to tell me, right? Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks have to sell their kids when they're still locked. They pay a hefty Oops. sum for each of them downtown. They sell them as gourmet food in the most expensive restaurants. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. We made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget that. Hmm. Let's look at the old car Does then. This wreck belonged to Zip? Well, it's a wreck just like him, so I guess it could. Alright. Let's, uh, where's Zip on here? Oh yeah, we already, we already looked at that, didn't we? Uh, right, okay then, so I think probably that's where we'll leave it for this one, guys. We're pretty much out of time, but the mystery deepens, and we're getting to properly explore the city now, which is really cool as well. I'm, I'm really loving this, I think it's so clever. Just the little comments about, like, the hive, and... Like, the light be in the place, like the afterlife, the insects, and that they get there by going to the light and setting them on fire. It's really well constructed. I love it. But that is going to do it for this one. So, as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who would like to see it. And join the little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time.